God says, even if you don't see it, don't doubt, I will make you triumph. Glory to God. Listen to what I'm going to tell you. In the spiritual world, you cannot see, but I want you to know that when you listen to me, God is in the spiritual world, fighting on your behalf. So that you receive in the physical world the blessings you have prayed for. So don't be discouraged. On the way to our victory, things may happen that may suddenly fear us. Moments when you look, and what you see is just opposition. The obstacles in front of you may seem insuperable, the difficult days seem like they will never have an end. You may even have the impression that you cannot handle it. But God's promise to you is 2 Corinthians 2 verse 14 which says, But thanks be to God, who always leads us as captives in Christ's triumphal procession and uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of Him everywhere. This is for you. You cannot be defeated. The enemy cannot stop God's plan for your life. It is easy to believe when things are happening according to our will. It is not difficult to keep our faith when everything is in its due place is not true. The true test occurs when you are not seeing any signs that things are resolving or improving. But I'll tell you one thing. We all face some situations in life of silence. Moments where we don't see anything changing. We are really tempted to think, is what I'm doing worth it? Are my belief, my spiritual routine, my worship really making a difference. This is exactly where many people become discouraged, give up, and lose their miracle. You need to understand that just because you don't see anything happening does not mean that God is not acting or working. Behind the scenes, things are changing. You may not see. But God right now is aligning people on your path, people you need. Aligning your path, your promise. The question I have for you is, will you get discouraged, and lose your miracle? Stop believe, just because you cannot see it happening. Or will you shut up and say, God I may not see anything in the world, but I am not moved by what I see, I am moved by what I know, and I know that the promise that the Lord has put in my heart will be fulfilled, on the way. Look at the difference. If you remain in faith, I believe that soon than you think or imagine, you will see what God was doing behind the scenes, suddenly, in the physical world, come true. Suddenly, things changed in your favor. You may be asking yourself, but why hasn't it happened yet? It may be that there is another person involved, and they are not ready yet. It may be that this obstacle has not been removed yet because God wants to change something in you first. The Bible says, do not get tired in doing good, because in due time you will reap. It doesn't say that you can harvest it, or that there is a great chance of you harvesting it, no. God says if you don't get tired of doing the right thing, if you don't let what you see overwhelm what you know, then in your time you will reap. God wouldn't have told us not to get tired of doing good, if He didn't know that tiredness would know on our door. He said this, because He knows that it is easy to get discouraged, when we don't see anything happening. But He did today, I give you this message, so that you recover your consciousness and renew your hope. He made you listen to this message today, for me to tell you that he is about to do something unusual in your life. Now this is the challenge, do not leave from the Lord. If you continue to believe, believe, thank God in advance. If you keep holding on to him in prayer. Keep the right expectations within you. I believe and declare that that dream you thought was dead, that situation you thought would never change, all of this is about to become reality. And you will forget all your struggle, 
when you have your great miracle. In Lord Jesus' name. Amen.